What's going on, everybody? C4 here today. Obviously having to start off with the talk that Marshawn Lynch has officially become an Oakland Raider. The compensation looks like they're swapping late round picks uh, between the Raiders and Seahawks. So that is tremendous value. That was one of the bigger concerns on the Oakland Raiders is what would they're going to have to give up to get Marshawn Lynch. Because certainly the ceiling for Marshawn Lynch is you get a top five running back. And looking at the value that the Seahawks put at the running back spot by bringing in Eddie Lacy in the offseason, it seems like they're not really content with what they have there. I personally thought bringing Eddie Lacy was absolutely just stupid for the Seattle Seahawks. Personally, if I was a Seahawks, I would try to roll with Thomas Rawls and CJ Procise. And they also get Alex Collins that can eat his way into some snaps. But I figure that two-edit running back attack of Rawls being your between-the-tackle runner and then you bring in Procise and passing downs, I was fine. But then they still wanted to go out and get big old Eddie Lacy and enough so that they offered, they put like some weight clause in his contract so he had to like maintain his weight and like all these bullshit. So it seems like once Marshawn Lynch came back, it was not like, oh, we're just going to try to ship him away. They still are uncertain with that running back spot there there in Seattle. Uh, maybe right from the offensive line a little bit. But anyway, they eventually to trade him to the Raiders. Marshawn Lynch clearly wants to play for his hometown team before they move off to Vegas. And I, I get it, man. I, that's a great story. And I think he's a perfect fit. They, they clearly had been weighing a lot on Marshawn Lynch's decision here because they don't have a running back. They let Latavius Murray go in free agency, which was, I think, a decent move considering what he got paid by the Minnesota Vikings. And, like, looking at what what Marshawn Lynch is going to bring to that team, I mean, what you have right there is already compliments. You assume Jalen Richard or uh, Washington there, they're going to be compliment backs to Marshawn Lynch. I don't think Marshawn Lynch is going to have to be a guy that gets 300-some touches next season. I don't even know if his body can hold up to that. Um, but I think, you know, it's a great scenario that they have there. They have a phenomenal, phenomenal offensive line in, uh, in Oakland. And, you know, the bigger thing to me is the negative side of this, is I truly do believe as a Marshawn Lynch fan, who, you know, I gave Marshawn the rights to use Beast Mode. A little, little known fact, he was up here in Canada, and I signed them over to him one year back in 2009, it might have been. But, uh, I like the Raiders. I like the Beast Mode. I just don't think he's the hype is going to live up to the anticipation that everyone is everyone's giving him. They think he's going to come in. It just seemingly seems like people are forgetting that his last year with the Seahawks wasn't great. He got injured. He got hurt. He was starting to slow down and break down a little bit. He's a year out from playing football. Like I don't I don't think he's going to be. I think he'll probably be a fringe top ten back when all is said and done, and that's not bad at all by any means. He's gonna have some probably more not miraculous runs. I'm gonna assume his stat line is gonna look similar to what Latavius Murray had last season, which was you know pretty damn good. Maybe the yards won't be there, but I think he'll be as productive in the red zone and getting his touchdown numbers up for sure. Candidate get double digit touchdowns because that's what they're gonna do once I get in the red zone. They're gonna try to you know obviously you can mix in a little bit of play action and utilize. Derek Carr and the such, but I think that's where you're going to let Beast Mode take over and pound that rock and convert and uh, do more than what the offensive line just gives them, which is pretty much what Latavius Murray did last year. So, all in all, man, it is definitely very hyped to get Marshawn Lynch back in football. Um, exciting times for Raider fans, exciting times for us, the fans that aren't of the Raiders, that just get to watch Marshawn Lynch go to work against some really, really tough defenses there in the AFC West. Only thing I would say is keep your expectations in check for a guy who looked like he was slowing down with his last year with Seattle, and he's a year removed from football. Don't come in and start shitting on Marshawn Lynch when, you know, for the first two weeks he only averages like 50 yards a game. Um, I think it's going to take him a little bit to get acclimated. I'm going to say around week five, maybe we'll start seeing the Marshawn Lynch of old. Uh, definitely another talking point because I'm kind of shitting on him to, to counteract that or maybe debate that maybe the year off football uh, it helped him really heal up and those injury concerns that he had his last year in Seattle. I mean, he's a year, he's fresh. He was building goddamn houses in Haiti, you know, doing Conan O'Brien skits. He's going to be fine. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about Marshawn Lynch finally returning. It's official. Beast Mode back in Oakland. The 2017 season just got a lot more interesting, everybody. So let me know what you guys think. If this is your first time stopping by. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you're hyped for Marshawn Lynch returning. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.